As it happens, the effort to kill Obamacare is not the only contentious part of the new Republican health care bill. The American Health Care Act would also cut off federal funding for Planned Parenthood. That amounts to more than $500 million a year, about 40% of its budget. Planned Parenthood is the nation's largest abortion provider by far, so unsurprisingly, those who view abortion as the linchpin of human freedom are upset about it. The Trump administration says it will happily restore the funding to Planned Parenthood as long as it stops providing abortions. The group says it's not interested in that. Jimmy Green was a candidate in the recent race for DNC chair. She's also a former board member of Planned Parenthood Action Fund in New York City, and she joins us live tonight. Jimmy, thanks for coming on. Thanks, Tucker. So the Planned Parenthood line is that abortions are just a small part of what Planned Parenthood does, all the vital services they provide, and that's why they need federal funding. The Trump administration is saying, okay, then just don't provide abortions, and you get your half a billion dollars a year of taxpayer money. Why wouldn't they do that? If it's just a small part of what they do, and the rest is so important, why not just get rid of the abortions? Um, well, Tucker, I think we should start with being honest with your audience that there is no such thing as a federally funded abortion. There is a law that prohibits that from happening, and so that is certainly not something that Planned Parenthood supports as legislation, but they abide by it. Now, to your question well, that, of uh, wait, Planned well, Parenthood's so wait, so wait, line... Since, since, wait, since you moved off the topic, let me just ask you a question. If you didn't like the NRA's lobbying for the Second Amendment, but the U.S. government gave the NRA a half a billion dollars a year in taxpayer funding, and they said, well, it has nothing to do with our lobbying for the Second Amendment. It's just for something else that we do, gun safety. You would say correctly, money is fungible. Of course, it subsidizes the things that I don't like. And the same is true of Planned Parenthood. As you know, it's money. It's like liquid. It flows wherever it needs to go. You know where that money is flowing? It's flowing to cancer screenings. It's flowing to SDT, STD screenings and testing. Right. It's flowing to make sure that in places where health care providers are scarce and mm -hmm. health professionals are scarce, Planned Parenthood is in many ways the number one source of health care. Okay. And I, I heard you at the top of the segment say that this is Planned Parenthood's line. I would ask you to go to any woman in your life and, and see what her line is on Planned Parenthood because there are 2.5 million women each year that are served by Planned Parenthood's health centers. Okay. This is not an issue of removing these funds and there will be another place for these women to go. It's, it's proven proven that that's not the case. Okay, it's so I'm taking everything you say in face. Texas, I'm taking everything you say in face. Okay. I'm, wait, let me, let me stop and agree with you by Thank saying you. I, I'm taking what you say at face value, whether or not it's true. I'm just going to stipulate no, that it is. I'm just going to stipulate that it's true. Thank Why you. then won't Planned Parenthood just say, because what we do is so very important, we're the only health care provider, as you just said, in some places in this country, assuming that's true, but let's just say it is, why wouldn't you just get rid of the abortions? Why are abortions so important to Planned Parenthood? If the rest of what they do is more important, why not just give up the abortions? Everyone will be happy. They can continue to do cancer screenings. Why won't they do that? I don't understand. Tucker, abortions are a legal medical procedure. Well, that's not an answer, Jim. You know? And that is something that but you'd... you're going to have to to just reckon with because wait, there's wait, a wait. lot of talk. I've heard you on your show, Tucker, say so yeah. many times, look, <laughs> Donald Trump won and we need to stop litigating this election. Well, guess what? <laughs> I've never said that, actually. The question of the legality of abortions was decided before the two of us were even born. This okay, is a legal medical Jimu, procedure Jimu. First, first of all, I, I was born in 1970. Wait, stop, 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 stop. You just undercut your own argument. You just said it is the law that taxpayer dollars do not fund abortion. Now, it's the it law is. for a reason, because, because we don't as a country consider abortion just like any other medical procedure. I'm not contesting its legality. I'm aware of what Roe v. Wade says. I'm merely asking you the same question for the third time, which is, if Planned Parenthood services are so vital, it's non-abortion related services, why wouldn't, what is the attachment to abortion? Why doesn't Planned Parenthood just say, we do so many great things, we'll let other people provide the abortions, and if you're interested in supporting that, you can donate money to those groups. What other why people? Why will they not what let other people? go? Tucker, seriously. Why, let's, presumably, let's look at, Jimu, because of Planned Parenthood if what and the they services are doing they provide is and, so and the education that they provide in communities and even in schools, unintended pregnancies You're not going to answer my are question, are you? Down, are down. Why okay. is it, answer this question, Tucker, why is it that you are so against big government on every issue except for when it comes to my uterus 
and my vagina. Can you imagine if the okay. government so was saying, let's here's legislate what we're getting, your here's penis? What we're getting down that is to. not ever here's, going to be allowed by you or any of your male counterparts. Uh -huh. And it is time that we get past know, these, this these issue. Talking that this are is decades some, no, these are not talking not points. The bright. talking points. Look, let me, let me, let me just, uh, let's, can we get back to the issue of Planned Parenthood funding? And, and if you could just slow down the Jeremiah a bit. I want to ask you for that, and I'm going to give up after this, a fourth time. You're saying that Planned Parenthood does all these great things. The federal government is saying, we'll continue to fund those great things. But we're really worried about the abortion part, because like almost half the country thinks it's murder. It's not about genitalia, it's about a distinct human being. That's no, the view of a lot of Americans. No, 70% okay. of Americans are pro-choice. And guess what? 50% okay. of Donald Trump voters don't okay. want Planned Parenthood to You're be defunded. Wrong? And guess what? But abortion why is also... Okay a critical legal medical procedure. Really? So what's, let's talk about it, the domino effect. Wait, you take you abortions away. You're not going to answer any of the these questions. Okay, so then what? Because and life is actually more complex than you want to talk about in uh -huh. this situation. So, so if you take abortions support, away, hold on, so, slow down, slow down. Why should people who think abortion is immoral, and there are a lot of them, it's not 30%, it's much higher than that actually, it's about 50%, but it's still more than 5%, why should those people have to see their tax dollars subsidize it? That's the question. And That's you're basically false. answering That's with false. a religious answer That's not and saying true, it has to do with Tucker. the autonomy of the their woman. Their tax dollars are not paying the, for but abortions. But what is the problem? You know why what their tax dollars are paying I don't, for? I don't They're understand. paying for low-income women to be able to go into a health center in a community that has no other health center available to them within hundreds of miles so that they can get a breast cancer screening. Oh, so really? A mammogram? How many mammograms do they get? Wait, wait, stop, stop, stop. Wait, 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 and wait, this is on, not only women. This is men How also. many? Are they giving a lot of, a, a lot of mammograms at, at Planned Parenthood? How many do you think last year they gave? I actually, I don't have that exact number, I don't think Tucker, they did any, actually. I don't they, think they did any mammograms, did they? Tucker, you're... Or did they? You're, it's a question of fear. You were on the board of it, not let's, me. Let's be honest Do you not have the audience. answer, Jimu? I'm, I'm trying Planned to get the answer from health you. health centers in rural areas, in many communities, where uh -huh. there are no... Other How many mammograms options. are they providing? No you were on the board. Wait, so stop, stop with the propaganda. I'm asking you a specific question. This is not question. propaganda. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be honest you with your audience. Question. You're talking talking points okay. to demean an organization that provides. I'm not trying to. I'm trying to get a straight answer. Services. All right. I give up. Thanks, Jimu. I appreciate. Them. Get back to me on the mammogram question. I appreciate it.